Hello and yeah. welcome. <laughs> welcome to the Steep and Scoop show. Looks like y'all having a great conversation before I know. we get on here. Oh, wow, you guys beat <laughs> us all up here. <laughs> welcome aboard. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's great to see everybody. I'm like, yeah, wow, I like, had to look back. I'm like, dang, you like, well, Maryland's got, she's got a blizzard. <laughs> and we got, oh man, we got all kinds of things happening out there. Yeah, wow. Well, you saying, know what? This is a perfect thing to do for a snow day or yeah. a snow night. In our, Indoor in activities. Our <laughs> yes. So it's great to see you guys on board. We are very happy you are here. We have a cool episode today. A lot to Valentine's Day. But that's not all we have. In addition to Valentine's Day and tons of ideas, we also have some card making. That's very cool. <laughs> and we are going to showcase and tell you some tips and tricks about this super cool new toy. This is the uh, Glass Mat Studio. Um, and Stampin' Up! is currently promoting it with the demonstrator kit. You can yeah. actually get this free. It's $60 value free. It's nice. With the demo kit, which is pretty stinking yeah. awesome, right? But, I you know, you look at it and you go, okay, what, well, what else? Glass well, mat, wait until you get done with this episode and you'll be like, oh my god, I need that. <laughs> I know. <laughs> She's also, teaching me stuff. Yeah, I'm like, really? You can do that? Yeah, so we were both like, yeah, it's really mm -hmm. cool. I mean, it's great that you can stamp on it, but then after I was like investigating, Wait. I was like, oh <laughs> man, I need another one of these. So, lots to talk about, but before we jump into all of that, let's talk about what we're giving away today. Winner, winner. So, if you enter by leaving a comment on either or any of the multiple locations we are broadcasting on, which is Facebook, YouTube, X, or also known as Twitter, um, for both Stamp with Tammy and Crafty Stampin'. Uh, all you have to do is leave a comment, let us know you're there, say hi. Um, you'll be entered in to win the same thanks card kit. And if you share this broadcast on any social media platform and come back here and type the word shared with a D, you will be entered a second time to win this kit. And we have a winner. From our last one, which is an and amazing this was, yeah, swag this was like, bag. This was quite the quite the giveaway here, and that is Linda Davis. Congratulations, she won the swag bag from our last episode. And uh, so I had sent I sent you an email, Linda, and you can whoop, whoop. Uh, redeem that for your uh, for your swag bag. We'll get that off to you. So congrats and good luck to everybody on uh, entry. Next up is this month's paper pumpkin kit. Look at it, so oh sweet. Oh my god, it is but so cute with that bunny. Sweet I hope there's time. bunnies are in there. So adorable. Paper pumpkin is an all-inclusive crafting kit, great for beginners. But you don't have to be a beginner to love your paper pumpkin kit. Just <laughs> ask us because we're addicted. Yes. And uh, we have got lots of um, paper pumpkin trip tips and tricks when you subscribe with either myself or Linda. You also get our PPX videos from yes. our PPX Curvy Month, which is alternate ideas. And if you subscribe to my newsletter, you'll know a couple months ago I accidentally <laughs> sent it out <laughs> the exclusive videos to the entire mailing. At, and so you guys have a, had a little peek at actually. You what know you how get. amazing those projects yeah, can they're, be. They're pretty awesome. Yeah, I think we all try to one up each other every month. <laughs> I know, I know, and then it gets just better and better and better. And like, oh, that was really good. Wait, you see what I, I, I can do? I know. And then I'm like, dang, how am I going to beat that one? <laughs> So this is the time, I tell everybody, this yeah. is the time to subscribe to Paper Pumpkin because it's celebration time. And that means if you do prepaid Paper Pumpkin kits, you can do a three-month, six-month, or 12-month subscription. And, it's and you more, get more, more, more. Free <laughs> celebration products. And if you do the 12-month, you even get free celebration products and free stamping rewards. And you get a 12, you know, 12 months of Paper Pumpkin all prepaid for you. And you just kick back and let those Paper Pumpkin boxes kits roll in yep. every month. Yep. So that's a whole lot of fun. This is the time to do it. I know a lot of my customers, this is, they, they wait for celebration yes. every year and do the 12 month. It is the best deal and the best way to get Paper Pumpkin. Yes, it is. And this month, well, actually this quarter, um, Stampin' Up! kind of rejig things, so they are kind of announcing the kits quarterly, and the add-ons are now all going to be dies, and they are they will work with all three in the quarter. So this quarter is the Love of Spring dies, um, and it's got three dies in it, and some of my projects happen yeah, to have, because that love... 
I was like, all, need it. They're like, oh, this goes with um, January, February, and March yeah. paper pumpkin kits. And I'm like, that goes with everything. Yes. <laughs> I, I agree. Use that on everything. It's yes. so much more than just, and it's a great deal. Too. It is. It is. You do need to be a current paper pumpkin subscriber to order it. Um, but I, I yeah. Yes. It's, Which is easy enough yeah. to do. Uh, and then we were talking about celebration. It is celebration time. January and February. Best time of the year. It is the most wonderful time <laughs> of the year. Every $50 in orders you spend in our online stores, you get three exclusive celebration products. And um, if you have huge orders over $300, I know some of you are like, what? But it's true. It happens. Yep. A lot of us, that's oh, why yep. we're demonstrators, right? Because yep. we have those big orders. Oh, yeah. You get a bonus with your um, stamp and rewards, too. But my suggestion, if you have that much on your list, yes. is go with the demo kit. Yes. Because it is the gift that keeps on giving. First, you have two options to choose from. One will be the glass mat studio that we're going to be sharing with you in just a minute. And the other choice, option, option two, two. <laughs> is you get $56 free. You get to pick $155 worth of products and you only pay $99. Oh That's my gosh. the best. Seriously. Yeah. And there's free shipping on the kit. And then you get a future discount. And I, it's just, you get a paper pumpkin kit. Yeah. 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 It's, it's awesome. So highly recommend. And uh, either, either one of those is a great option. The glass mat studio, as you're going to yep. see, is, I mean, it's a $60 value when you get that free. So either way, they're, they're great deals, even yep. when you choose. But if you have a wish list bigger than $99 or even at $99 yep. or even just below $99, yep. this is the way to go. Yep. It is the best deal. And you don't have to sell anything. And you don't have to sell You just anything. get us. You get us. You get That's a your discount. Bonus. You get to be part of our Stamp It Demonstrator group. Oh, and I don't have the slide on here, but um, speaking of this, and this is just a reminder for the demonstrators and just a tease. Uh. For those of you who are in our demonstrator group, we have a special guest on our meeting tomorrow, which mm -hmm. is our um, team meeting team meeting online, and that is Elizabeth Belleville. Belleville. She is a DDM from the Stampin' Up! Home Office. She will yeah. be joining us for our meeting, and she's going to be sharing. Mm. Yeah. I love sneak peeks. Mm -hmm. Don't you all love sneak peeks? You so, watch us when mm -hmm. we do sneak peeks. So. Right? And so even better. Yeah. So if you're in my demonstrator group or Linda's demonstrator group, we're all stamp it. Yep. And uh, we look forward to seeing you and all of yes. that tomorrow. All right. So let's talk about the glass mat. So this is, it is very beautiful. And I don't even know if you can like really get a feel for this. Like look at, first of all, let me move this out yeah, of the way. So Look at this, right? So that sucker, I could flip this thing upside down and that sucker doesn't come off. Like, oh, I'm sorry. Stick. I'm sorry. This is the, the silicone mat yes. that you can put like inks in here when you want right. a coloring. You can put your little mat on there and Whatever all that other using. stuff. But once I'm it's sorry. on there, yep. that sucker it doesn't come off. on there. Yeah. It gets moving. It's not moving around. No. Like, this just made my organization on yeah. my st my craft. Like, I don't know about you, but when I'm, when I'm making cars... I have Everything. such a mess, and it is like the, I always call it the crafter math. Yeah. Whether it's a video or whether I'm just stamping for myself, and this like totally just made life so much easier. It's like easier. the stamping zone. It's like this is at least the neater. So section. these little <laughs> spots, they they fit a stamping spot. So if you're working with paper pumpkin or stamp at stamping spots or whatever, they work in there. These little things go. You can put little ink, you know, put your little uh, ink in there and watercolor. I'm going to share with you the beauty of using this glass <laughs> mat when you're coloring with alcohol markers, like our Stampin' Blend markers. Did not but know any of this. Before that, we'll share a couple of other tips, but I'll do a full full, uh, full share on this coming up soon. So in addition to that, if you have a blending brush and brayer techniques, these this is a fantastic yeah. flat surface. You don't have to worry about there being any warps in your table. Or it not being, you know, if you've got tablecloth and all that other stuff that makes it not quite hard enough. This is fantastic for those techniques. Now, you can keep your paper down with washi tape. But there's another trick to this that we'll get to in just a minute um, that makes it even better. Uh, it, it's already really cool. Like in, the, in the beginning, I was like, oh, that's that's cool. My, I have the old black mat we used to sell. And, you know, I'm still kind I of still a, have it. But, but after I, I, I replaced that with this, I was like, oh. <laughs> we're like, you need a ruler. All right. So Sharon wants to know what size it is. So Sharon, it's 17 the, and a half by, oh, okay. okay. I was going to say, the, the measurements 17 here. 17 inches by 14 inches. Show 13 by 13. So the, so if you're trying to measure something. So the specs this on it is are, it is uh, five millimeters thick. It's heavy too. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a solid yeah. and you can see it's not moving around yeah. when you move it. 
17 by 14 inches um, in, in by 14. Yeah. safety tempered glass, heat and scratch resistance. Hang on to that one. We're coming back to it. <laughs> and it wipes clean and it comes with this little uh, cleaner. It wipes clean with just water or alcohol. And I found yeah. I was, I had gotten um, adhesive on it when I was putting together my stuff. It had like, you know, the adhesive things that get on everything. Yeah. They're yeah. all over my, my table. And literally a little bit of alcohol clean. You can't oh, even see it. That's all nice. gone. It's all gone. Nice. Um, and so the silicone, the silicone mat here is eight and three eighths by six inches. And it has multiple uses. It's waterproof, heat resistance. This is also heat resistant. They both are. Um, and that has the four squares for custom color mixing, for holding spots. And there's other great things. You can put your embellishments in here so they're not all over the place when you're making your projects, especially when you're like assembly line stamping and you know you've got a whole bunch yeah. of embellishments. You can <laughs> stick them right in there and they're not good. Again, the organization, this is like yeah. key. Cleaning cloth is eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter square, durable, reusable, lint free, clean stamps and other surfaces with only water. And it's dark gray. I don't know why. I can I know you can see that, but <laughs> I'm just reading off the list. Okay, so a couple things that I mentioned there that we'll talk about. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna <clears throat> do some coloring with the stamp and blend markers and we'll talk about that in a minute. Before that, we've got grid lines here that make it really easy for you to measure with. Use um, grit paper or anything like that. You know, it's great yeah. to have these measurements on it. This is even, I think, more useful to me than grid paper after I started using it. One, because I don't have to have a fresh sheet every time yeah. I get a piece of it. Yep. And two, because it's already got my flat surface. So another thing that it's great for is heat embossing. And I've got my little, I'm not going to heat emboss today, but the heat embosser, right, it gets hot. The glass, it's heat resistance, but it will heat up underneath your project Ooh. and it will make it quicker for you to heat and boss. Ooh, and you don't nice. wreck your table underneath, which yeah, is the bigger or, deal. Or whatever I have underneath that starts to bend or whatever will like melt old, from the heat. The right? black mats have a bubble yep. in it from that they got heated. <laughs> So with that, it is good when you're doing um, techniques with embossing paste, which I will show at a later date. Um, the oh. X-Acto knife. So it is scratch resistant. So we have these cool little things now. So you guys, you're familiar with the take, take your pick, take your pick tool, right? Yeah. It's like the little Swiss Army knife of, of tools. And it's got all kinds of little um This one's a little scraper piece here. We've got the paper piercer that I probably use the most of. I have another one that's got. They, they yeah, I have these multiple one. ones. This end Already makes up, up all your little doodads. But we also have this new little attachment here. It's got an exacto knife. It's got a little blade in there, and then this is um, like our little rotary cutter blade. So you can swap out simply by. Oops, I forgot that one's going on the other end. So. You can swap out the ends and put the exacto knife on here. You can use this to cut. There goes our notes. I'll use it on my scrap paper <laughs> for now. You can use it to cut on here. And not only do you have a great cut, there is no, no scratching on, nice. your, on your glass mat. So that's huge because I have yet to use this attachment Same. because I don't have anything to use it on. So. When I learned that, I was like, oh, there's so yeah. many things. I'm a big fussy cutter. Like, yeah. I like to fussy cut things. Even like, you know, a lot of stamp sets that don't have dies that match with them. But there are certain times when there's like a little thing on the inside that I want to cut out. <laughs> and I can't because it's going to look stupid with my paper snips. But I, you know, now that I have this and now that I can use it. And again, there's the rotary. Nice. So those are uh, just a few little things about cutting on there. Stay tuned for more. <laughs> we'll share some more about that in in the future. I've got my. I showed this already, right? We can. Yeah. Boop boop boop. We're gonna pretend we'll put that on there, and we're gonna take our watercolor. We're gonna watercolor. The other thing you can do is color directly on the glass. You can color with marker. You can color with. You can put your refill on here. You can smush it around. You can even use it to smush. Mix colors. Yep, mix colors. Use it to smush your cardstock into Ooh. to make cool background techniques, to make stripe, whatever. You know, there's all kinds of things. The other thing that I saw that was really cool is that you can do reverse images on it. You can stamp your image on it. Oh. Right? Take your paper, 
pop it down and then stamp against so you've got two nice. fish kissing or you know your horses are facing each other so um okay so do they sell new attachments yes. for those yes yeah are you talking about yes. the take your pick tool this is yes we yes. do sell these these are the, these attachments are separate from the take your pick tool yes. you can this is like an add-on that you can buy in the online store so the, so the, take, your, the take your pick tool is um available separately so yes. you can get you know the the add-ons to that yes um decorative mats right so we've got masks or or stencils right you can take your washi tape put it down whatever you're using you're using your yeah. prayer you're using your your blending brush whatever you got it's not going to move around and then you don't have to worry about you know like especially this one because this particular one is lines up again stay yeah. tuned future episode <laughs> <laughs> yes the attachments are available separately for the take your pick tool um, that they're not part of the mat or the, they're, they belong with the take your pick tool. Yes. They are separate. Okay. So these, these like layer on top of each other. And so you want them to stay layered on top of each other so you can line them up and, and attach them and do all of that good stuff. All right. So you can, you can attach with washi tape, but wait, <laughs> but wait, I learned something better. And a shout out to Janet Wakeland for this yeah. one. So anyways, I use this on my desk upstairs. When I'm when I'm in my little dining room craft area, this is <laughs> this is a magnetic or maybe it's just metal. I don't know. It's a magnetic mat made for mechanics. Now this one's it's, it's magnetic, right? Whatever it is, yeah. it's made for mechanics, and it and it holds it it holds your magnets on there. So a lot of times, like when I'm working with my dies, when I open them up, I'm a mess. Mm -hmm. I am just I, I'm I'm a hot mess when I'm stamping. My dies are all over the place, right? Yeah. So now when I open them up, I throw them on here just to make it easy for me because I'm not as organized as Linda and I don't have the I don't have I don't have the sheets and have anything going you know, I'm just a hot mess. And so that's what I use this for. So what I saw Janet do is she bought a bigger board and I yeah. and I ordered one to show you guys. Overnight, Amazon. And of course Amazon said to me half an hour before the video, yeah, it's not gonna be here in time. So you'll just have to make do with looking at my little mat. But I'll do another one once that comes in so you can see all the benefits of actually having the magnet. So you can use this board magnetized and not magnetized if you have a magnetic board. I have on my blog, and I think Linda probably has it too, yeah. the link to uh, the magnetic board that I ordered. So you guys, it's, it's yeah. as big as this lengthwise and it's flat so it you know it stays in here as opposed to the one that i i've had for a long time that's just a lot smaller so as you can see the magnets when it, you have a magnet board underneath it stick to it yep. so when you're working with stencils boom right yep. holds them down so you can you don't have to worry about the washi tape and you can just move on your merry way here also, um, a couple of other things, like when we had our X-Acto knife on there, you can take that, you can take a metal ruler, and that will, yeah. boom, stick down there, and you can use your X-Acto knife to cut. No no need for washi tape or anything else there. So that has its uses, and let me make sure I go through everything I wrote down on my list. I'm sure I'm missing <laughs> stuff. Um, so it, it keeps things from moving around. It helps you with the X-Acto knife. So there's a, there's a lot of different uses here for this. When you, if you make it magnetized. Yeah. Again, I have a link to the bigger board on Amazon. Um, on the blog post, there's a link in the video yeah. description, for whether you're watching online or Linda yeah. has it too. Yeah. So those are some tips about why this is amazing. <laughs> and from underneath there, so we are now non-magnetized. <laughs> oh, here's the other thing I want. I knew there was one more thing I was missing on here. Throw that right back under there for one minute. All right. Did we show this? Did we show the dies? No, we didn't. But yeah. <laughs> so you're working with your die set, right? And you're over, you're over on your machine. Yeah. But meanwhile, the other dies are still all over the table, right? Boom. Right. They're right. right there and they're not moving around, right? They're stuck. Yeah. They're stuck to the board now that the magnet's underneath it. So that's just an, one more way that magnet's gonna that hold everything down. So I no longer, once I get the board underneath there, the one that's supposed to fit it, no longer have to use my little mechanics mat. <laughs> I can just live with the smaller one underneath yeah. the longer one underneath it. All right. So the last thing that we didn't show, and I saw somebody said they had a left-handed board for somebody. Guess what? So I'm a lefty, right? This is set up for, for my my left-handed use. You're a righty. <laughs> Boom. So th there's no need to for a separate board. You've got lefty yeah. and righty. 
and those the, the mat and these all just coming again that mat once it's stuck down there it stays down there okay so <laughs> that's a little bit about the awesomeness of this glass mat <laughs> okay <laughs> Now we're going to get into coloring. Was, so yeah. more on the mat. Let's see your color with it. This is what I'm dying this to see. Is, uh, so I told Linda, I said, oh my gosh, my I finally mind. broke that glass mat out of the box and we have to show it. I'm like, I can't even. <laughs> like the words do not even like, there's, there is none. I'm so happy about this. So I'm going to smooth in the um, Stampin' Blend markers here again on the left knee, so you're going to have to bear with me because I'm, <laughs> I'm going to go to the left-handed side here. And I'm also going to put on my cheaters. <laughs> so I've got a uh, stamped image here. From, <coughs> this is the Stippled Rose Roses um, set, which I think is just absolutely phenomenally mm. gorgeous, and it's begging to either be watercolored or yeah. to use those Stampin' Blends on. So I'm going to go ahead and, and, and go with my darker Stampin' Blend first, just because that's the, the way I like to do it. There's no right or wrong way to work with Stampin' Blends as far as whether you want to start with your lighter color and work to the darker one or start dark and work to light. Either one is fine. The real trick to making these blend well is your paper needs to be wet. Yeah. Your paper needs to be wet. So right now I am just highlighting the um, parts of the flower on this image that were, the artist already kind of shaded. There's a little bit around the petals. I'm not even being neat about it. Anymore. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm just going right on there. Okay, so I've got, um, this is Melon Mambo. That was a Melon Mambo Dark um, Stampin' Blend marker. And now I've got Melon Mambo Light. I'm not even looking how messy I'm being here. I'm like all over the place. Just staying within the, the, the rose lines, but but just kind of going on there. Okay, so the regular, you know, this is regular blending basic, okay? But now I really want to make this pop. I really want this flower to pop out of there. I am going to layer some more of the dark melon mambo on here. And this is where the mat comes into, like, play. Because of the glass, and, and um, Tina Wardell actually was the first one that, that told me about, you know, using a mat like this underneath when you're, because I love to do, to do this. And she said, you know what, it makes such a difference. And she was spot <laughs> on. Because with that underneath it now, this is getting really wet. The image is getting really wet, right? But alcohol dry markers dry very fast. So, I mean, within a minute or two, this is going to be dry, and then I'm not going to be able to... To blend. And normally, normally I'd say only do one flower at a time. Normally, right? But on this mat, it keeps it wet underneath. It's not absorbing the ink. And so I'm able to actually move this ink around. And now it's getting really wet. And the other thing that's happening here that I, I was super excited about is that it's not, the, the paper isn't filling. Even as, um, as much ink as I'm putting on here. So now I'm, I'm, I'm taking a petal pink, which is a really light pink, and I'm just doing the very edges of the, of the flower here. And I don't know how well this is going to show up on the video. But what I'm going to do is pull and blend in the Melon Mambo that I just added on there so that it kind of fades into this petal pink. And because it's keeping it moist and wet longer, it's giving me a nice, nice canvas to work with here. And it's, it's I'm able to do this and I'm able to move that ink around. That really is even, something. Because I would after. say normally only do one flower at a time yep. or even do one section of the rose at a time so that you're always working on a wet section. But the fact you're able to do both at the same time, yeah. like, and, wow. And then I can just keep on layering, keep on going, How no matter how, you know, it just depends on your personal preference, yeah. how much, how dramatic you want that to go. So next up, I'm going to just do some leaves. And uh, yeah, I'll hand that over to you. So for the leaves, I've got um, Mossy Meadow and lemon lime twist. So I'm going to start with a lighter of the mossy meadows. And I, again, kind of similar to what I did with the, the rose. Um, I just took the actual shading 
that the artist when when they did the stamp when they designed the stamp they've got some shading right in there i'm using their shading and just using that as my guide for the darker color and now i'm taking this is the dark lemon lime twist and kind of blending in what i just did there now i'm going to get dramatic now i'm going to pull in the dark mossy that's the darkest green i've got and i'm going to touch just a little bit of those areas because i want drama <laughs> I like drama. <laughs> Back to that lemon line. And now I can you can really see it here. You can see where just pulling, moving that ink around with the dark really yeah. gives it a nice, nice, like you can the dimension that it's adding. So the mat is not available in the catalog at this time. At this time. Yeah. We are hoping that it is coming in the catalog later. So the, this mat is available now. I know some of you guys are popping in later, so we'll go back. To she that. did not spray the paper beforehand. Nope. The wetness is coming from the ink it's out of the, the pen. So you, normally you would start, and you'd only do one thing because it would dry before you moved on to the next flower. So what she's saying is the, um, whereas normally you would do it, you have another piece of paper underneath and that paper would draw out the ink and help it dry where it's staying moist. Now, on the because you want it to be really wet right you can literally see right yeah. through there you can see how it goes through and how a lot of times when I'm working on my surface it gets right yes. you get little even when I have a mat underneath it, it, it or yeah. something it gets yeah. it gets a little mark on it like that well this literally it's wipes wow right, wipes right off so it protects my workspace it keeps the paper it keeps the paper wet so that you can move that ink around longer even the alcohol so it's not drying quite as fast and especially if you are newbie to alcohol markers and you, you're a little bit slower than you know especially when you're first starting right. you're just kind of getting the hang of it it is much more forgiving and i feel like it's it's going to give you a lot more time to play with your image and then if i can find my <laughs> cheek I don't even know where I put half my stuff. I know. We started all organized started. in two so seconds So through later. the magic of video, boom, I colored and cut that out. <laughs> and we're going to do some stamping. So that was a little bit of a, a, a lowdown on the glass mat. Currently, and this is brand new from Stampin' Up, um, we'll just start back here really quickly. This is the glass mat studio. It was available to demonstrators last month yes. for a very short stint yes. because um, they were releasing it for new demonstrators who join during celebration at, as a free option. Free. It's a $60 value, right? Yeah. And you get that in addition to the demonstrator kit that's also awesome already. So right now, the only way to get it is to purchase the demonstrator kit and then you get it as option, one, option yes. one free or you can get option two, which doesn't have the mat and you get $56 right. free. Either one is an amazing right. deal, but because this mat is just so phenomenal and after I spent some time with it, I'm like, <laughs> oh my gosh. So they've told us, and they haven't given us a whole lot of details on this, but this um, is going to be available for purchase after celebration. We don't know mm, how long no after details. celebration and we don't know for how long it's going to be available. <laughs> Hoping it becomes a part of our product I, line. I would love to see it in the catalog. Amazing. But yeah. And after I've been working with it, I'm just, I'm in love with it now. Right. I need more. I need more. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the lowdown on that. Next, I'm going to do a really quick, easy fun fold. Um, we're doing the double Z fold today. I'm going to take what I just made out of these flowers and we're going to turn them into something. We're going to turn them into something nice now. I'm going to use a black base for my original. So I am. whenever I use a black base, it yeah. doesn't show up well on a video. So I'd like to do a quick uh, demonstration first using some bright colors. So I'm going to score this. It is four and a quarter by 11 inches. But don't feel like you need to write that down because we have a free PDF. And I'm actually just going to get rid of us for a minute. <laughs> That's, that fine. That way. That's fine. That's um, fine. You can download that free PDF and you don't need to worry about writing anything down. I like to make it easy for you guys. So that was, I'm scoring, we got 11 by three and a quarter. I'm scoring on the long side, two and three quarters and five and a half. That's going to give us the Z fold. Okay, so we got the letter Z. This this card was brought to you by the letter Z. <laughs> now for this particular, and there's different different ways to do the double Z fold. 
This one, I'm going to use a three by nine um, top piece and I'm going to score it at three and six inches, which is going to give us three, three inch blocks. Okay. And then I'm going to attach it right here. That's the double Z fold. Super easy, right? Okay. You want to see it again? <laughs> We're going to do it again on black. Again, like I said, I like to show it with the colors first because the black is hard. Sorry. Black is harder to see on the video. So we got two and three quarters and five and a half. And it's a standard size card base. It will fit in the um, regular medium sized envelope. Okay, so that's our Z. And then I've got the three by nine. I'm going to score it three inches and six inches. So I've got the two card bases here. Yeah. We'll just make our own little card mess, okay? And then I'm going to decorate these two pieces before I put them together. And through the magic of video, dun, 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 dun. I used um, the nature's I sweetness. A little cheat sheet here. Yeah, nature's and the sickness. nature's sweetness designer mm -hmm. series paper layered over some distressed gold. See it there, really pretty. Yeah, and um, that's so my favorite. This paper was the base, it, yeah. and then this was our little our little three four on there. So I probably should use seal plus on this, but I'm using regular seal because I'm lazy and don't want to go <laughs> find the seal plus. I'm going to stick it right in the middle, smack dab in the middle. Okay, middle, and then I'm going to fold that inside and put adhesive on just that one block right there, just the right edge of the back, okay? And then fold it so that there's just adhesive where it's gonna touch that, and boom, we've got our double Z fold. What? Yep, that's how easy it was. <laughs> and then we're gonna circle back to those roses that I colored in the on the uh, glass mat a minute ago, and we'll go ahead and Stick some dimensionals on there. Let me just get rid of that one because it's not behaving. <laughs> and let's stick that on there. And then I went ahead and from that same stippled roses stamp set, I heat embossed on a little strip here. Ha happiest birthdays. I know it's a Valentine's Day issue, so happy Valentine's Day will work well too. But I thought, yeah, I'll make a birthday card. <laughs> we'll really just mess everybody up, right? <laughs> So I'm just going to cut a little banner in here and then take a bone folder. This may be somewhere. Oh, I don't know. It's somewhere in that, yeah, <laughs> somewhere in that carousel of, of crap. Here we, go. <laughs> here we go. So I'm going to go ahead and um, just loosen the fibers on that banner. And... Now I'm going to want my regular silicone mat so that I can put some, if I had glue dots handy there, I would say use those. So I'm just going to put a little bit in the middle and a little bit on the left hand side. So here and here, I put that and I may want to trim that. <laughs> no, no, I think it'll work. There you go. Okay. So what I did was I, I just popped it up, right? So I put it down there, popped it up a little bit there. And now we've got like a waving banner that's waving on there. And let's go ahead and maybe color cut and stick a uh, little, extra little, little extra rose on there for it. And maybe we'll take some more oh, pieces some. of that die set. And, <laughs> I mean, you know, why stop there when you, right. can, you can just keep I love on going, right? Exactly. And so we got a little bit of foliage here. We can stick underneath up here. I put the adhesive on the rug side so it's sticking to my finger, but that's okay because now we've got a little bit of climbing to do there. We'll put some of these really pretty, they're um, iridescent foil gems. So I've got a little bit of gold foil in them and we'll put that on there and boom, through the magic of video. <laughs> <laughs> right? Super cool, super fun card. Just doing a little bit of coloring with those Stampin' Blends and a fun fold on there with some beautiful paper and bam. So, you know, switch the words to Valentine's Day and it fits video. <laughs> All right, so that was my um, my share for today. Again, there is a, a free PDF for you on mine and Linda's blogs at yep. Stamp With Tammy or CraftyStampin.com. And I also, using the same coloring techniques, <laughs> 
and my video from Monday. This is the circle wreath card uh, with using that stippled roses. And I do have tutorials for these coming, but I have a video for how to do the circle wreath cards. And there's another one using that same big rose on the, uh, the circle wreath there. So a couple more ideas using that, that stippled, stippled roses. Stay tuned for these two coming. <laughs> this one we just posted on our blogs today, so you can get the free PDF for that by clicking on the link in the video's description. And with that, I'm going to hand it over to Linda. Okay. So a couple questions. You can only get the mat right now when you buy the starter kit. Um, any links that we have that are wrong, we will update after um, this broadcast. And there was something else. Get the mat. Just alert. And the link to the uh, magnetic mat. I know it's not on my post. I forgot. Um, I'll update that later. Tammy, should, you said it was on your post? The... Glass mat? Glass mat. Yeah. The, not the glass mat. The, the, the metal. Mag man the magnetic. The magnic. Yes. Yep. If I've not, got a link to the fix, Amazon. Yeah. I got it on Amazon. If anything, okay. we'll fix it later. Thank you. We're Thanks sorry for the heads up. up. Appreciate it. We'll sorry look. about that. And yeah, we will we'll take care of it after. Thanks okay. for letting us know. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oops. All right. So it's a big old frenzy ahead of time trying to get everything ready and, and in the row right. so that we can do the video and have it there for you while you're watching the video. And yeah, yeah sometimes it yeah. ends up being a big old hot mess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, okay. So Valentine's Day. All right. So I, I'm going to, I got a couple things to show and then a couple things to show. I, all right. Oh yeah. You want to see, you want to <laughs> see the table? Look at us. Do you want right. to see the table? Do you really want to see the table? All right. Okay, I suppose. Uh, so when we did the unboxing, um, uh, is when I noticed that this hooray for surprises has a perforated pull tab. So it's like you know. And what I didn't realize till later is these other shapes are also perforated, and that's the little pull tab is that little bubble here on the circle and on the heart. So. Valentine's Day. That's like we, the, like when you were a kid and you get the, you know, be my Valentine and all those fun things. And you would do the fun pull tabs. So here's a fun card. You can't open it. I have it sealed <laughs> and it has a pull tab. See, I said open here. I didn't bring the matching stamp set with me, but the stamp set has um, the open here. So you pull it. This is so fun. I love it. Pull it. Oh my God. And it's, so it's got adorable, the cute right? little thing on the inside. Right? Like, so flipping cute. Like, that's to me like Valentine's is those like fun, what you know, kids would put in there. You know, all, you go around and put it in each person's little backpack or bag behind their chair or whatever. So that's one of them. That's doing the pull tab. And I did a little extra and did extra pulls on the side. And then this is the heart. Now, the heart has two. So this one is the one that has the perforation and the little pull. And then this is the exact same size, this heart. And they, they both come in this set. And so you can make, so I just did the pull tab in red and then did the white in the regular. So it kind of looks, made it look a little different. And I got the um, arrows are from that uh, give a whirl set. Oh yeah. You know, so I have yeah, open here. And so I even, um, See the little tab? I even bent it up so they knew. And so you can just sort of pull. This is be mine. And I cut out a little B from the B. Just super cute little things. You know, you want some fun stuff. I just thought that was for Valentine's, especially kids, grandkids, super interactive cute. cards. I just, that to me, I'm like, oh, it's just so Valentine's, right? So that was one set of stuff I did. I just want to make sure everybody knew that. I, I think that was a question just came up in there. Oh. Do these circle cards fit in a regular envelope? Yes, they do. Um, I have a video on this. I did on Monday a video class and I shared that, yes, this particular size does, but I'm going to share one in a minute that doesn't. And I also shared on that same video how to custom make an envelope for the ones that don't. I'm trying to decide, do I just share or do I go over my other card? I'm like, all right, I'm going to share. We can go in. We can go in. I'm going to share a bunch that I have that are swapped. Some are from last year. Um, but just ideas for Valentine's Day. Um, and then we'll go back to another one I made specifically for this show. So this is using, most of these are using, I think it's a country bouquet, um, stamp set and punch. It does use some older paper, um, but you can easily swap this paper out with any of our new Tina, current papers. Um, Tina wants me to show how to build that card. Check out my, my video from Monday. 
I shared oh, that. The circle card. Circle, the circle wreath cards on yeah. my Yeah. You know, so the beautiful hearts and, you know, the, the Valentine's Day. This one was fun. Oh, it's I love got the that. fun fold. I love it. You know, I, I like them when you can kind of see the inside. Here's another one like that. I have tons from this country bouquet. I know. It's such a pretty set. It, it really, really is. That's one of my favorites. Um, I don't know if all of them have. And, oops. Oh, I love it. Oh, yeah, I this love one goes out ones. and then out. I like that one a lot. Isn't that cool? Get them all mixed up. And then... You know, it's, oh, it's, that's that's cool. Center, center step, center, center step. Yeah, so it looks like that on the side. Super cool. I like this one. It just kind of did a basket weave. Oh, yeah. With the um, just great stock. way to use your scraps. Ooh, yeah. And there's another one. I love this. Oh, that's adorable. You know, and these are just so simple, but they're so cute. Another one. I'm looking to see. Some of the swaps I do require you to stamp the inside, <laughs> which is fun. I, it's nothing I oh, usually yeah, I think mean, to I, do. You know, it's always nice when you don't have a naked inside. Yeah. Whoop, don't show that one. No clothes on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just some of the most simple ones. This one's pretty. This is the big bouquet from that site. And then this one. Oh, I like that. Yeah. The lattice. That's that's pretty. There we go. Uh, let me show you. All right. So that's the end of Country Bouquet. Then this one is the die. Thanks so much. Or thoughts so much. Oh, yeah. I forgot the name of some of these uh, guys. Love for you bundle. Love for you bundle. Love for you. Yeah. So that's that one. Okay. And I got some. I'll yep, throw these okay. right in there too. This one from the same, same set. And this paper we still carry. Um, oh, yeah. The... Um, Metallic dry brushed paper. It is still available in the online um, exclusive exclusive section, and I've got a little rose gold back there behind that one. Okay. And then I was thinking, like, what else? You know, Valentine's Day, love or together. So this was one I made a long time ago Ooh, with the, um, like it with the picture. so sincere. Mm. Or, oh, I'm terrible. I'm sorry. No, nope. um, but just the saying, you know, time spent together is the sweetest. You know, that's. Falls under Valentine's. And then the um, share a milkshake. Love it. With just hearts. You add hearts to anything and you get Valentine's. And then the be this mine. Is so stinking. Cute. I love I've the bee. Be. I got a bee too. Yeah. Him out. So super cute with the circle. The bee is just so adorable. You know. Be mine. That and one's in the mini catalog. Yep. This is um this is one of the cascading Pete's card I made with the bee. Oh, he's so cute. I know. They're so adorable. Yeah. This one, they got a few little scenes going on there. And I do have tutorials on, yep. the, on my, on the, the scoop page. For and then I got one more. The ones that I made. He's super cute. And then this is adorable. Adorable. Adoring, oh, ador the adoring these hearts. These are adoring hearts. So these are two I got from swaps. Cause then I'm going to show you ones I made with the adoring hearts. Um, Oh, I love that one. Yeah, I like, I like it. it when you can kind of use the inside and the outside all in one. So, all right, you want you want to show yours? Oh, I thought <laughs> mine was over the top. It is. Then I see one, hers. This was actually yesterday's tutorial on my blog. So this was part of my circle wreath uh, class, and this is the adoring hearts. And I actually did two wreaths, the a double wreath. So the question was asked about the last two circle wreaths I shared. Those do fit inside a standard envelope. This one does not. I made this one a little bit bigger intentionally. So I made it six by six. So it is bigger than a standard size That's envelope. So <laughs> but I did share on the video and I meant to bring it and I didn't. The um, I made a really quick and easy custom envelope out of designer series paper. So on the video and um, linked on yesterday's tutorial for this card, I have how to do that as well. But super cute. That that 3D embossing folder, the, so, the Adorn Hearts, is just phenomenal. I love it. It's gorgeous. I mean, it cuts and embosses yeah. all at the same time. Yeah. It makes it super quick and easy to make yeah. those. So, on that same note, here is the die. I didn't bring the... I thought I grabbed the embossing folder, but I guess I didn't. Here's the die. The die itself is huge. So, if you really want to showcase it, you've got to make them bigger. So, this is a card I made. This is a six and a quarter by six and a quarter. 
and you go, how do you make a six and a quarter by six and a quarter when our maximum page uh, paper is 12 by 12? I had to make a scene. Um, but I wanted to showcase this full die so as beautiful. well as the full embossing. And then love this it. is, um, it. love it. Love. This is the add on to the paper pumpkin. This. Yeah, so when we we're both like, yeah, that that's goes with needed. Um, because I was like, what? I need it's simple. What do I, I need? Something simple. And I was like, and it's that. And so this is my big version of this. And then I made a baby version. Aww. Um, and so this one, oh, I, I use the um, beautiful adhesive sheet when I cut out the dainty um dies. Um, and it really makes a big difference to layer them that way because here's a sample of what they look like when you just stick them on. You mean the foam? Yeah. So it's you can see how kind of bumpy they are. Yeah. yeah. They're very thick. So they're quite you get quite a bit of the foam sheet. Foam. Yeah. yeah really, whereas it really looks awesome. Versus looks without amazing. the foam. Foam? No foam. Um, and I use the love again. So this is like my, my big brother, little sister um, card using these. But I, I could have kept going with this, and then this one's kind of not related, but it's using the different colors of the hearts. I loved this whole set. And speaking of that uh, paper pumpkin add-on die set, so uh, this is so, uh, one of the alternates I did for this month's paper pumpkin kit. It was a little box. I do have a tutorial and a video for this. Again, using that love die because yeah. it goes with everything. Yeah. So silly of them. It oh, goes with these three. It goes with everything. No, yeah. And this is a good size little treat box there. And I, I use the printed cards to to make the box. And while I have, while we're talking about paper pumpkins, this is uh, December's. This is another alternate oh, that cute. I made. Little little flip card there. I got. Yeah. I have a I have a video for that one too. Love the flip cards. I'm a big fan. Yeah. And then I have one last one. Um, I love the paper. This is uh celebration paper. Most adorn. Yes. Yeah. That, that coordinates, with coordinates that. with the adorn. And I just want to showcase paper. And then this, um, greeting is from sending love. It's the one with the mailbox post. Yes. Sending love. Yeah. So I, it's supposed I to say, I miss too. you. And so I cut out the love from another stamp in that set. Cause I wanted to say, I love you. Um, <laughs> that's, cute. that's a great idea. Yeah. So, <laughs> so speaking of the mailbox, I'll go ahead and throw mine yeah. out there since we'll, we'll keep them all. So this was when <laughs> I did the arrow, um, when I did my arrow fold series and I took the die set there and made that little mailbox and it's got a little love inside. Yeah. And this one brand new, I just made the other day, haven't even put it out yet. So <laughs> tutorial coming on this one, but I watercolored with this. Another one I was using the glass mat. This was like the first card I made on yeah. the glass mat. And I was like, oh my gosh, I love this. Um, the, uh, the postage, the um, drawing a blank, perennial postage die. So to make it look like a stamp, the background there. So they layer. I thought that was just really cute. Yeah. Any, uh, anything else over there? Oh, I got lots of stuff over here. Ready for I'm the... done. Okay. I'm done. All right. So we made this on a prior Stamp and Scoop show oh, last yeah. year uh, for online exclusives, and it is a um, easel drawer fold card. So we have tutorial for how to make this. My little, mm -hmm. I gotta fix. It. Oh, you lost little, your yeah, uh, my little knobby fold. fell off. I gotta go fix that. But <laughs> so this is actually surprisingly easy to make. It was yeah. a easel drawer fold card. I thought that was really cute. Um, Next up, I have online exclusives again. This is the Meandering Meadows. It's a cascading panels card from my cascading Ooh. panels series. And I kind of made that for the paper, just kind of flow all together and then give you a little like window inside of yep. something to say in there. So that is um, Meandering Meadows. Now, these are from last year, and these are the Playing in the Rain bundle. I love that. Right? Get it? Love you. Yeah. So... We got a little shaker card here with a little. I love these little dudes. Yeah. They are just so adorable. And then this one's got a little, little turtle on it. Super cute. Next up, this was also from a previous Stamp and Scoop show. It is the Carousel Horses. So this one uses the um, what the heck is the die set? I'm just just oh, bad trying to remember the yeah. names. Uh, patchwork pieces die. That's it. Yeah. Patchwork pieces die for the background. So it gave it the little carnival. It's a gatefold. Opens up. I do have to, all of these. I have tutorials for linked on the on the scoop show page. Yep. So this one, it's a floater. It's a floater. <laughs> <laughs> I 
It's a floating carousel horse. What were you thinking? <laughs> it's got... <laughs> <laughs> I can't talk. It's got the it's got the holographic paper on the background to make it a little shiny. Yeah, shiny. <laughs> All right. So um, coming up, this one was from last year. But I love this one. this one. This one is just another. It's another floater. Yeah. Floater. This one we got a floating we'll a motorcycle. Of I know. I love them. I love the window. Yeah. Cards. So this one was from the Legendary Ride bundle, and I made it. I made it pink. So it can be for breast cancer, it can be kind of feminine, or it Valentine's. can be Valentine's, right? There's yeah. a lot you can get out of that one. And this one is the, um, this is a jo angle joyfold. Diagonal. The moody pansies. Diagonal joyfold, yeah, I kind of give it a little. <laughs> something a little different with the pansies. Um, okay, so this one, back to the circle wreath cards. This was my first circle wreath card. Uh, that was another um, paper pumpkin alternate. From the January, I'm sorry, December. January's just showed up on my doorstep. Yeah, I, I couldn't open it because I was so busy trying to get everything ready for yes. the scoop that I couldn't open it. It was kind of sad. I was just looking at it like my paper pumpkin blocks. <laughs> <so sweet." laughs> this is the um, perennial lavender, right? Perennial, yep, perennial lavender, lavender, sweet, brand new, sweet, and um, this is full oh. metal. So I took the paper. Oh. These are paper butterflies yep. and embossed them. Nice. And so that's a full metal. And this one was a this one was a club card from last month. It's the fluffiest friends. Yeah. The little adorable little guy who was in the They're online exclusive. In the online exclusive and he's holding yep. a little heart there. Oh. Did not realize that's right? what he was he's holding. Holding a little heart and there that guy's a little beaver hut in there and there's a little bee hanging around on the front and I totally did not pick yep. up on that. Yep. Yep. So he was he was sharing his little love, and then these were. Um, Ooh, this I was, like that. This was um, this month my VIP club. So a little peek at what we do in the VIP club. <laughs> but this was this month's. It was a accordion fold using that um, embossing most, folder. Most adorned uh, paper with the adorning same, hearts. Adorning hearts. Yep, and most um, adorned paper. Yep. And folder, and then this one's like a little peekaboo card here. So cute. That paper is gorgeous. And the last one, this was my, again, this was my VIP club. So my VIP club members and Stampin' Demonstrators will also have access to that library. If you're looking, if you're watching this, you can get the tutorial for this on the VIP site. This is um, the double Dutch fold. So it opens up on the inside. So there's a whole lot of love in our uh, VIP <laughs> club this month. And a couple more. This was my um, Forever Love Kit. These were just a couple of um, cards, a couple of the cards. I did some other things with that too, but I love the little peekaboo on there. And I think that is it. So Sheila, and anybody else who's interested. So these are going to be on my, we're, we're doing a Valentine's Day uh, blog hop in a week. It's now on Thursday, Next so Thursday. it's in a week. So we these will be the on that. So I will have instructions for these on that. And over this coming week, I'm going to do instructions for the pull tabs. So keep an eye on Crafty Stampin' for those. All right. Well, I think that, that about wraps it up. So for those of you who have jumped on late, uh, just a couple of recaps. Um, we, it is celebration time. You can get free stuff, but we were showcasing the, the demonstrator kit special, um, during celebration where you can, in addition to the regular amazing demonstrator kit special, choose the, the <laughs> glass mat or choose $56 free. Um, the glass mat's a $60 value. So they're pretty similar in price, but one gets you that glass mat that you can't get any other no. way. And it is just the most amazing deal. And you get the glass mat or yeah. the other, you get $56 free for $99. You get to choose $155 worth of stuff. I mean, they're great deals. <laughs> More information on that on mine and Linda's yes. blogs on Stamp with Tammy or yes. Crafty Stampin'. And with that, we will be back in two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. Uh or one and maybe a, a little earlier yeah, with our online exclusives because we got some new, new ones stuff coming and for those in the stamp of demonstrator group speaking of sneak peeks tomorrow tomorrow, tomorrow. tomorrow. tune in <laughs> to the stamp <laughs> demonstrator group meeting because we got guests come from the home office to yep. have some sneak peeks so we will see you guys then thanks for joining me bye and linda <laughs> <laughs> bye <laughs>